Response to dimensional shift. Time is 11:01 right now. All right. Um. So we got till about 11:10 at the latest. Probably won't go that long. But all right. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How do you do? No. Uh. Yeah. I, like I've I've had perspective shifts too while I'm meditating, which I find kind of interesting. You know. Uh, meditating. There's this sort of tilt somewhere back here, and I've heard there's a, there's some sort of spiritual structure behind the head. I've read that, and actually in the book Autobiography of a Yogi. Um, so maybe that that has something to do with it. Um, that's interesting. That experience driving down the road. Um, I don't know. I just want to offer some ideas and things. You know, I just joined this group. Just, uh, you know, wanted to sort of see perspective is something that has to do with space. And the ideas that I'm playing with are, on, and I'm going to put these up on the, the thing, uh, uh, this up on the video, or you can just go to my page and check it out. But look at the one that says consciousness, A C I M, at all, and also intro to A C I M. ACIM stands for A Course in Miracles, but just watch that and you'll know what it's about. I'm not like pushing uh, A Course in Miracles or something, I'm, I'm just using that as a jumping off point. But anyway, uh, but, but yeah, when I'm meditating sometimes I have this shift and it's like everything tilts and it's a really strange feeling, you know, it must be sort of the beginnings of an out-of-body experience. But space is all created by mind, uh, all space-time. You know, if you watch those other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it, or at least that's the idea I'm sort of interested in right now, is that all space, all dimension is created by space, all dimensional stuff all is, is created by the mind. Space is the mind. It doesn't really exist. It's just space time illusion dreamt by the mind like you have well, you have a dream and you're in space in the dream but once you're woken up from the dream that space is, is gone completely where was it where were you you were having a dimensional experience but when the dream's done you and you wake up it's gone so uh, strange as that might seem That's pretty much the way it is, I think. Uh, so basically, but you know, th there's also all kinds of levels of it, and uh, you know, people have out of body experiences and stuff. But it's just important to keep. And there's a physical universe, or on one level, there's a physical universe, or there appears to be. Um, but. Uh, some deeper thing called the mind. <laughs> I mean, you can call it whatever you want, but uh, it's a tricky topic. Uh, but but what else, what other types of experiences have I had like that? Yeah, when I was high on mushrooms once, I remember, well, it's very easy to have out-of-body experiences. I remember it being sort of like I was looking down on the top of my head, but that wasn't, it was just a feeling like you're talking about, it wasn't really out there looking down, you know, uh, but it is, I'm sure it's possible to get that too and everything, but uh, another time once when, when I was in high school and me and some friends were smoking pot, I, I smoked, I suddenly got really, really stoned and it was like late at night and we were in this room and, and like I got so stoned that I shouted and I went, ah! And like during that shout, I became this tiny little, little image of myself, way in sort of like in this gigantic sea. And it was like in my, I, it was like I, it's hard to describe. It was just like in my thoughts, 
I was seeing this little figurine that was myself. It was like this momentary out-of-body experience. And uh, like way down, electric, this little electric image of me, like screaming, like, ah, like shouting, ah. And then, and then I like came back to my body. It's really wild. But uh, you seem like a really nice girl. Um, you're thoughtful and nice and intelligent and stuff. Got a really good vibe from you. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know what I'm seeking at this point. Because <laughs> now I, I'm, I'm starting to realize that this reality isn't that important. Watch my, watch my, again, watch those other videos and you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but it's okay, it's okay to have fun with it and stuff, you know, but, uh, it's not that important, it's not ultimately important. Um... said, be in the world, be not of the world. Uh, question is, what is it replaced by what, when you wake up and all this dream is over? What is it, what's, what's there then? Uh, but yeah, perspective. I, I play tricks with perception like that too. You know, not, not exactly turning things into One you know, very cool thing to do is play around with colors. You can uh, you can say, okay, everything. I'm going to look at everything that's red here, and you just let your eyes roam around and pick out everything that's red and connect it all together. You know, so it'd be like my shirt, anything red you see, and then you say, okay, now, and then you sort of intensify that, and you say, now, okay, now I'm going to check out green, and you pick out everything that's green. And it intensifies your color perception. Or you can simply do it sort of more like what you were talking about, uh, where you, you just go like, uh, I'm going to see things in color as opposed to black and white. This is sort of very similar to what you were saying. Like, it's like going from 2D to 3D. Well, this is going from like black and white to color. Just realize that you're in a world of color. Absolutely. That it's in color. You know? And it's sort of like, it's really, that one's a really good one. It's working right now as I do it. It's just, it, it's sort of almost like a hallucinogen. That's one of the first things you notice when you take a hallucinogen is colors start to get brighter and more noticeable. But yeah, it just suddenly becomes beautiful. There's something inherently beautiful about color. Uh, so try that too. Uh, I, I, this is probably long enough, so see you later.